Hello friends. In this video, we are going to discuss how to create and deploy a Lambda function from Visual Studio. So let us quickly jump to our video and let us start our action that we are going to perform in this video. So first of all, to create a Lambda function in Visual Studio, what do you require? Visual Studio IDE. So we can download the Visual Studio from internet. Once you download currently in my machine, I have Visual Studio 2022. So let me open this. And one more thing that I want to tell you is. To develop a Lambda function in Visual Studio, first of all, we need to install the toolkit called AWS toolkit. So I have opened the Visual Studio. So to develop a toolkit, you need to go to the extensions and here as I have already installed it is showing it is showing as AWS toolkit. So if you click on manage extensions here you can find that AWS toolkit and you can install it and here you need to search with AWS tool. So once you search for it here you can find it. So AWS Toolkit for Visual Studio 2022. So the AWS Toolkit is an extension for Microsoft Visual Studio on Windows that makes it easier for developers. So here as I have already installed, it is showing it a tick mark. So once you install that AWS Toolkit, so let us go and quickly create a Lambda function in Visual Studio. Let me close it. Click on File, New, Project. So once you install the AWS toolkit, you can find these options AWS Lambda project. And here I have selected this as C sharp language. And here I have selected as AWS. We have various platform like Android, Azure, like this. If you click on all platforms, it will show all. So let us filter this to AWS. And project types, let me select this as all. all. And we have various templates. So for this video, we are going to choose this AWS Lambda project, a C sharp project for creating a AWS Lambda functions using .NET Core. So we are creating this Lambda function in a runtime called .NET Core. So let us select this option and click on next. And here it is asking the function name. AWS Lambda test. Let us give it as like this. And I'm going to create this project here in this location, physical path. And let us click on this create. Once you click on create, it will ask us to select the blueprint showing various options. And for this video, let us choose this empty function. So here it is described as set up the project and test project to create empty Lambda from scratch. So let us select this and click on finish. So once you click on finish, it is going to create a project in Visual Studio with a function and this function we are going to host as a Lambda function in our AWS. So in, in the previous video, I have uh, explained how to connect to AWS from Visual Studio. If you are miss, if you want to check that, you can go and check in that video once you connect to the AWS. So here you can see the list of AWS services and the one point that I forgot to explain in the previous video is once you connect to the AWS services from Visual Studio, it is going to save that access key ID and access secret key in a location. So that is let me open that in, in a location C drive users and you and the folder with your user ID and dot AWS. So in this you have a file called credentials in this credentials. If you open with notepad plus plus. So here the profile and the access key ID and access secret key. So here it, is, it will be saved. Uh, this function this point I forgot to mention in my previous video. So once you Create, we have already created the function. So this is the function that we have created. It is taking the input as the string and returning in the input in upper case. So if you open this, the 
readme.md file so here you can just go through this file to uh, to know what this is going to do so this starter function consists of it is saying function.cs a file function.cs class file containing a class with a single function handler method and this is the aws lambda tools default.json this is the default argument settings file for visual studio and command line deployment tools for aws and the generator function handler is a simple method accepting a string argument that returns uppercase equivalent so here it is self explanatory you can just go through this file readme file to know what about this project is once you go through that if you open this aws lambda tools.default.json here also it has provided the information what this file is this file provides the default values for the deployment wizard and the profile that i have explained in my previous video that this is the default profile with the name and this is the region and the configuration and this is the architecture and this is the runtime dotnet 6 version and this memory is most important now this is the memory that we are going to get allocated for this lambda function in aws so this is in 256 mb if we want the function processing to be more then we have to if we want that function processing that is nothing but the cpu more we we just need to increase this memory and is the function timeout uh, uh, after how many seconds our function is going to get this timeout so this is we can define here and this is the function handler name so this is the default settings we can run this function directly from visual studio by clicking this one this button mock lambda test tool so here mock lambda test tool here you have in the properties launch settings.json they have explained um, executable path so here we have this dot exe and this is the executable path once we click this this executable path exe will get executed and it will launch in a port 5050 and we can test our function so let me click on this one you can click either click on this or uh, you can click on f5 in your laptop so let me click on this one let me put a breakpoint here so that we can check now so let us first go to the to our function and put a breakpoint here And here let us invoke this function we are going to give the input and that input will be written in the capital letters so let me give the input as narasimha and click on this execute function button so here you can observe this is the function handler name and this is the config file and this is the profile this is the region and here we have given the input and let me click on this execute now the input narsimha it has come to our function and it is returned in the upper letter uppercase now if you see the output in this see the response here the response is written in capital letters and also we can pass the not a simple input string we can pass the complex object as well to this function so let us do that as well so let me stop this debugging and let us create a class with the name customer and let us just put a give one single property customer name and Here we have defined this class and let us provide this as the input for this function handler and the customer name here we are going to return the customer name so let us test this function now let us click on this mock lambda test tool Now we are passing the complex object as an input to the function. So here we need to pass in a JSON format. So here 
customer name let me give the customer name as Amazon now once we click on this let us put a breakpoint I think the breakpoint is already there okay so let me click on this execute function so now it has come here and if you observe here you can get we are passing the complex object as well to this function and we are going to have this customer name in cap in caps so if you go here you can see the response amazon right and that's it and let us publish this lambda function to AWS now so here we have as we have created this function with this uh, template all the required NuGet packages and all the required namespaces are already included so this is the namespace we are going to use AWS uh, amazon.lambda.core and this is the assembly so assembly attribute to enable lambda functions JSON input to be converted into a JSON dotnet class so because of this lambda serializer we are able to convert this JSON input the input we are coming as a JSON input as a string and we are converted into this uh, complex uh, .NET class because of this serializer, default Lambda serializer. And so now let us quickly uh, publish this function to our AWS environment. Now I have already opened this management console, AWS Lambda. Right now we don't have any functions in our Lambda console. So once we publish this, we are able to see that function here. And we have already connected to the AWS environment uh from visual studio to this i have explained in the previous video if you want to check you can go and check there now let us go to solution explorer right click and click on publish to aws lambda so we are going to publish this to aws lambda function name just customer test we will give and the description just as any description we want give you can give this returns customer details and the dotnet version is dotnet 6.0 this is the handler handler if you observe this is the uh, project name solution name and this is the namespace name and this is the function name so if you see let me close this so if you see this is the namespace name and this is the function name and this is the function handler you can observe here this is the namespace name this is the name namespace dot class name and in that class this is the function name so let us go to the solution explorer right click and click on publish to aws lambda again for uh, we are going to give customer test this returns customer details and just click on next it is just taking time to go to the next step so here we need to select a role select an IAM role to provide AWS credentials to our lambda function allowing access to AWS services like S3 so we want to provide a role for that for now just we have to provide a role with the minimum or the privileges that we require for this demo purpose i am just selecting this the second i'm sorry due to some disturbance i have just paused the video for a minute so here we need to select the role so role uh, for this demo we are giving this AWS full access so that we don't have any issues and the memory we can choose here how much memory and what is the maximum memory we can give here 3008 here up to 3 GB I think and for this function let us keep the default and the dead letter queue uh, we can select if we want anything for now for this demo uh, we will just leave all as is the default values the VPC subnets or security groups we also have the option to choose this 
so here he has provide the description if your function accesses resources in a vpc so if we want if we want this function to allow any resources from this vpc so we have to select the subnets and the security group ids so for this function we are just returning a customer in upper late upper case we are not accessing any AWS uh, services like lambda or anything s3 or lambda so we will don't select anything we will not select anything and we will click on upload once we click on upload this function will be published to AWS lambda and we can test that function so it is uploading the function so it is saying please wait while the upload your function AWS lambda so it may take a time so let me pause this video for a while once i complete this uploading i will again start the video now it has published that function and we have got this screen after publishing that window got closed automatically and we have this screen here we can test our function we have the invoke button and we can give the input here and we can we will get the response here so for this function we are passing the complex object customer as input in json format so let me pass this as customer name let me pass the customer name as microsoft and we are going to invoke this function and it will return in caps so here it has written this function in capital letters and if you go here see this now it is not showing any lambda functions as we have published the lambda function from the visual studio if we refresh the screen we should see that function so here lambda functions one it is showing so let me go here manage functions click on this now here it is showing it is showing the customer test function so this function got published two minutes ago from our visual studio and here the description also this returns customer details we have provided the description there from visual studio that is showing here and this is the runtime dotnet 6 in the package everything so let us click on this function and we can also test this function uh, from here we can test this function let us see the configuration here the memory that we have given there so let us test this function so to test this function we need to provide an event name my event and let us give the input customer name apple so let us click on this test it it should return that apple in caps so execution succeeded you go to the details so the area we have written this in all cap letters so friends in this way we can deploy we can create a lambda function in visual studio and we can deploy it from visual studio so what first we require is we require visual studio and aws toolkit to be installed on the visual studio then it is very easy to create and deploy a lambda function issues in visual studio thank you so much friends for listening this video very patiently thank you so much